Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. <laughs> Alpha males need to stop going in on beta males. And you know what? I'm, I'm seeing something. Uh, first of all, you know, it's serious, you know, or as a young lady I know would say, it's crucial. If I even use the term alpha and beta, because I don't like them, because I say it is a re very relative term. You know, I say, depending on a woman, we can be an alpha, and depending on another woman, we can be a beta. But I'm saying this in general terms and using it as a reference point. And a problem I'm seeing is too many men who are either alpha or at least identify themselves as alpha talking trash about beta males. Like, oh, they're just some beta males and all of that. And, you know, if the beta males are complaining or speaking up about some of the treatment that they're receiving from women or the unequal treatment, you know. And, you know, I can, I can understand in a way where people would say, well, you shouldn't just go away, do your thing. You shouldn't bitch about it. Okay, I get that, right? But see, the alpha males got to remember they are not experiencing what the beta males are experiencing in some cases because I'll get into that little part in a minute. But it was like, dude, you need to ease up on those dudes. They ain't living like you. You know, they don't got women showing up to their place at like 12 midnight with nothing on but a trench coat and some high heels. Or a woman like, you know, taking taking that dick in their mouths and shit like, you know, like as a lollipop or a banana. Or has some fine ass woman and stuff stalking them. They don't have it like that. But see, it seems like some of these alpha males, you know, want to jump on the dudes for not having it like that. Like, dude, hold up, man. First of all. Mo I ain't going to say most, but a significant amount of dudes who got it like that just really had some good genetics. You know, if your ass 6'3 and shit, and if you're in a black community, because this goes out to all communities, but if you're in a black community and you got a certain grade of hair, shoot, or in some cases a certain complexion, oh yeah, you already, all you have to do is learn how to manage it. The women going to throw it at you. Or if you a guy who's worked hard, reach a certain status where women throwing it at you because of your status. Hey, you still worked hard. You still there and shit. But every guy don't have it like that. And to get there, which I'm, I'm going to get into that in a second. But to get there and then talk about beta males, to me, is fucked up. It's like, dude, really? Because first of all, look. If a dude is, first of all, right, if a dude is select, if he, okay, if he's select by status, right, anything can happen. <laughs> the average millionaire gets bankrupt three times. You know, that status can change, right? I knew this dude who played basketball at this university, right? And he was getting plenty of play because he had that status of being on a basketball team. The basketball team was the hottest thing on campus, right? Even though that particular basketball team, I mean, let's be honest, they were a so-so team. They, they weren't going to, like, the NCAA tournament or anything, you know, at least at that time. But they were the most visible thing. They were the, they were the rock stars on the campus. And this dude, you know, he was getting play. A straight-up dog about it. As soon as, like, but he wasn't really, he was just getting play. He wasn't even a star player. He was just somebody who can get some minutes off the bench. But as soon as uh, he quit the team, because like I said, he wasn't a star player, he noticed that the women changed up with him. That status changed in a, in a hurry. That dude went from being an alpha or being seen as an alpha to just being an ordinary dude. Because the thing that was getting him to play, even though he was fairly tall, the thing that was really getting him play was being on the basketball team. That was that was what's getting to play now, you know. If he hit the books like I hope he did, 
you know, he might have got some money or something to get back up there. But, you know, his status was being on the team. That changed. All of a sudden, he went from alpha to beta. And even the pretty boys, the muscle men and all of that, you know, they've been getting that play since they were little. So, you know, since they were some 16-year-old, you know, getting their dick sucked by a neighbor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be the next video, yo. You know, that shit can change, too. Because usually they get it like that because they got that body and everything. But the uh, funny thing about age and a body, you put on weight. No matter how much you work out, there's some dudes you don't you don't know the situation. You can put on weight. I've known plenty of dudes who, like in their twenties, were, you know, they were built getting women like crazy. And you see them now, you'd be like, "Damn, dude, did you get another human being?" Seriously. And all of a sudden, the women ain't checking for them. You know, they look older, got a few more wrinkles. Shoot, that pretty hair they had it was thinned out. So that shit can change. But see, some of these alphas, they look down on the betas. And see, here's the thing I alluded to a couple times, right? So many of these alphas, there's very few men who are born select. Just even on pure genetics, even if they got pure genetics or good genetics, they still got to figure out, you know, they still got to learn how to talk to women and they still got to learn how to use it. There's a lot of latent good bars out there. But you know, some guys, they, even if they got the tools, don't know what to do with it. So they, they're basically they're beta. And see, I've known several guys who, quite frankly, were beta. And I, they cool with me. They might want to, a couple might even hear this video. But some there's some things I just don't talk to them about. Because they will look down on betas and I'll be like, dude. And I've, I've done this with more than one man. I remember when you were first coming to me and you couldn't even... You couldn't get a high out of a woman. Then all of a sudden you want to look down on men who are in the same position you were in? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. You know, that's the that's the thing that killed me. They forget when they were in that position. They forget when, you know, instead of seeing a woman show up at their door with their, you know, nothing on but some panties and a trench coat. And, you know. The licks, the licking the lips already go in on you. They forget, they forget there was a time where they could say walk up to a woman and they could say hi to her and she wouldn't even respond. They forget that. They forget when women will walk past them. Or they forget the times they were a woman's Uber and, you know, went on a date with her. Might have got a hug at best at the end and end up taking over some other dude's house that, you know, had her ass up within the within two seconds of her walking through the door. That's what kills me. It was like, dude, hold up, y'all. You forget you were in that position. And that's most men. That is most men. Even uh, even some of the alphas, even those guys who got started early with the neighbor. And yes, I will be doing a video on that tomorrow. Even those guys, there was a first time for them. There was a time where women might not have been checking for them. You know? I mean, <laughs> shit. There's a time where some women probably called them ugly. Or some women called them lame. All of them, most of them have been there. Most of these guys, y'all look out and idolize and say, hey, they getting all the women. There was a point when they weren't doing that. And I can't stand. I can't stand. It's like, dude, don't go in on these dudes. You were once that dude. You know, my thing, shoot. I've been there. I've been on both sides of the equation. That's one thing. And that's why I try to help some dudes. I, I send it back. I don't go in on them. That's why I like a lot of these videos. Most of these videos don't apply to me personally. No, not in a big extent. Most, hey, most of them don't. Most of them don't. Now, I experience the stuff. But if I say, well, okay, what's it, what's going on for me right now or what's gone on for me like for the last 20 years or so, it didn't apply to me. But I remember when I was there, though. So, you know, that's what I'll talk about. I was like, well, this applied to me at one point. Maybe not now, but at one point. So I know what they're going through. So I'm going to speak on it. Right. But some of these guys, they get all mean and, you know, and. 
you know, they like, oh, yeah, he, he's betas and he whining. They need to do this, that, and a third. But then at the same time, the dudes don't show him how to do this, that, and a third. You know? It was like, look, instead of talking trash about him, reach out to him, mentor him. You know, say, hold up, man. I want to give you the game. That's how dudes used to do when I was coming up. If they saw you were fucking up or something, they ain't like say, oh, look at you. Look at that beta. You know, I mean, they use other terms. They say, hold up, man. Come here, man. Why don't you do this, right? Yeah, man. Why don't you say this to her? You know, that's how you do it. But damn, you get these dudes and they talk trash and go in on them. You get fe- I, every now and then I find a video doing that. I'm like, dude, dude, really? Why don't you think about it? And even if you were never there, like you get a few dudes, they 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 been, you know, from the time they came out the womb and stuff. I remember my youngest son and stuff, right? He five years old. He got little girls like at the window talking. To him. They ain't even knocking on the door. They come into the window of the house and stuff, looking at and say, "Can he come out and play?" I'm like, "Damn you, little girl! Your parents didn't tell you to knock on the door." I actually said that to one little girl. <laughs> Damn. But everybody don't got it like that, man. Everybody don't have it like that. And so you know, I would say this to the alpha males or the dudes who at least think they alpha. Have some fucking compassion, man. You were there once. Don't act like you weren't. I, I see right through you. Act like you weren't. Don't, don't let that shit go to your head. You were there one time. You know? Like, I knew this dude. He was calling, like, nice guys and stuff weak. I was like, wasn't that you one time, bro? Were you weak? He didn't have an answer for me. All right? He did not have an answer for me. So, you know what? That behavior needs to stop, man. Reach out to your fellow man and stuff. If you got it like that, reach out and tell the dude what he need to do. Now, if the dude going to mess with you or something like that, that's different. But a lot of times, a lot of times, man, dude just want it like you. Shoot. They want to experience a woman coming over right away doing the freaky freaky. You know? They want that woman who wants to give him a blowjob in the parking lot of a mall. Just like you do. Just tell him, look, this is what you do. All right, don't talk trash. Don't look down on them. You know, did somebody look down on you? This is to the alphas. Did somebody look down on you or somebody did somebody help you out and tell you some shit? I want you to think about it. I want all the alphas to think about it. Lead, Stop going in on the guys you deem beta, man. It's, it's some bullshit. You don't need to. And even if the, you know what, even if the betas are going in on you, you know what? As long as they don't put their hands on you, just be like, okay, dude. You know? Because I've had some people going on me, except for one notable case. I don't, there's a lot of videos I haven't, like, even responded to. Because the dudes were so pitiful. I really haven't. <laughs> like I say, except for one exception. But that was a special case. But other than that, dude, don't... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stop. You were there once, and the reality is you can be there again. And I think maybe you need to think about it like that. Just because you alpha now don't mean you're always going to be alpha. All it takes is you losing some money, you putting on some weight, uh, you changing something. Something happens. You know, something happens because every day you don't always stay at the top. So anyway. That's it. I just want to put that out there. Let me talk to y'all later. Peace.